Reach for the Stars is a science fiction strategy video game. It is the earliest known commercially published example of the four tenth games explore, expand, exploit, exterminate genre. It was written by Roger Keating and Ian Trout of SSG of Australia and published in 1983 for the Commodore 64 and then the Apple II in 1985. Version 3 added an MS-DOS port, though it did not share all of the features of the other platforms. The game was eventually ported to pre-Mac OS X versions of the Macintosh operating system, such as System 6. It was also ported to the Amiga and Apple IIGS, from the Mac OS version. The player commands a home star in the galaxy, and then expands to form an interstellar empire by colonizing far-off worlds, building powerful starships, and researching new technologies. Reach for the Stars was very strongly influenced by the board game Stellar Conquest. Many of RFTS's features have direct correspondence in Stellar Conquest. Graphics are minimal, yet the tactical and strategic elements provide countless rich combinations for colony development and interstellar warfare. The software's AI also offered a challenging opponent in single-player games. It is not uncommon for a Reach for the Stars game to take over 12 hours to complete in single-player mode and 24 hours with multiple players. Gameplay In versions 1-3 the player starts off with one planet that has level 1 technology and a middle level environment. Three types of ships are available. Scouts, very inexpensive, incapable of fighting or carrying colonists. These can be used as a low cost, low risk means to learn the composition of unknown star systems or the locations and makeup of enemy fleets. Transports, incapable of fighting, but can carry colonists. Warships, incapable of carrying colonists, but can fight starting players have limited funds, and have to decide where to invest the funds technology upgrades, ships, or environmental upgrades. Upgrading a world's planetary environment, for example, means that its population grows more quickly, improving production, this is a mixed blessing, however, because if the population grows beyond the maximum allowed for that planet, the costs to feed the population skyrocket. Building a lot of ships early can win a player the game, if the player finds his enemy's home planets before they manage to upgrade their military technology, on the other hand, it can lead to a loss if the player's opponents upgrade first and attack with superior ships. Each turn is divided into two sections, a development phase, and a movement phase. In the development phase, players work on planetary production, deciding what each planet will produce that turn. In the movement phase, players have the option to send ships to other star systems to explore, colonize, or conquer. Because the game evolves along so many different axes of possibility, the game offers tremendous replay value. It is quite possible to save a game on the first turn, and have it play out differently each time it is restored. A bug causes human players that do nothing to become wealthy while computer opponents fight each other. The designers added a feature that causes the computer opponents to attack the human at 20,000 credits. Topic reception Computer Gaming World in 1983 found Reach for the Stars quite user-friendly and enjoyable, with the single flaw of a lack of notification of natural disasters, which could not fit onto the disk space available. The computer AI and customization of each game were particular highlights of the review. In a 1992 survey of science fiction games the magazine gave the title 5 of 5 stars, praising it as arguably the best science fiction game ever released, a product still worth playing. A 1994 survey of strategic space games set in the year 2000 and later gave the game 4 stars out of 5, stating that a worthy update would no doubt raise this game again to 5 star status. Compute, in 1986 called the game a particularly fine simulation of galactic exploration, combat, and conquest, noting that players needed to balance several different priorities to succeed. It concluded that Reach for the Stars was one of the better games on the market this year. Insider in 1986 gave the Apple II version three stars above average out of four, stating that while the game was exciting, IT's unromantic to say that much of the rest of the game is a matter of juggling numbers, but that's the truth. Jerry Purnell of Byte stated in 1989 that the Mac version of Reach for the Stars was certainly the best implemented version of Stellar Conquest. The game was reviewed in 1994 in Dragon No. 211 by J&D in the Eye of the Monitor column. 
Jay did not rate the game, but D gave the game three and a half out of five stars. In 1996, Computer Gaming World declared Reach for the Stars the 51st best computer game ever released. Topic <laughs> sequel. A sequel to Reach for the Stars rewritten for the Windows platform was released on September 14, 2000 by developer Strategic Studies Group and publisher Strategic Simulations, Inc. In 2005 Matrix Games working alongside Strategic Studies Group, updated the 2000 release, this updated version was released in 2005. See also List of 4X video games <laughs>